Hi, I'm Larry Janeski. I'm a building scientist and president of Total Basement Finishing and Dr. Energy Saver. In an effort to show what happens when common organic building materials get wet in a basement, we conducted an ambitious project. This video is a short summary of what we show in our detailed 25-minute conclusion video. We tested four flooring assemblies and four wall assemblies. For flooring, we tested an old-fashioned wood subfloor consisting of sleepers or lumber laid flat with plywood on top. Then we tested a subfloor panel made and sold for basement subfloors at big box stores. It's chipboard with a dimpled plastic matting on the bottom of it to hold it off the concrete floor. Then we tested our thermal dry insulated floor decking, which is made of foam insulation with channels on the bottom and an inorganic magnesium oxide board. And finally, a pure PVC flooring we call Mill Creek flooring put directly onto the concrete. We weighed each of the materials before the test so we could weigh them after and see how much water they absorbed. The wall panels we tested were first wood studs, fiberglass insulation, and drywall with a wood baseboard. This is the most common building assembly in North America. Next, we substituted metal studs for the wood ones, used fiberglass insulation, and a moisture and mold resistant drywall with a pre-primed wood baseboard. Third, we used our Total Basement Finishing Everlast wall panel. This consists of foam insulation instead of fiberglass, a cement board instead of drywall, a vinyl finish so no paint is required, and PVC baseboard. The final wall assembly is a variation of the Total Basement Finishing Everlast wall panel called TBF Smart Wall System. It has a continuous foam insulation against the wall, metal studs in front of the insulation, and an Everlast wall panel with cement board, vinyl finish, and PVC baseboard. We weighed all the wall panels before the test. This test is all about how materials behave and last in a basement environment. The critical variable in a basement is water and water vapor. We simulated a water leak and kept the floor wet for several weeks that we ran the test. You know, a home has lots of pressurized supply pipes and a drain pipe system with openings such as sinks, toilets, wash machines, vents, and other openings. Over time, leaks will happen and the water will wind up in the basement and since the basement is basically a pit under the house. What will happen to a finished basement when a wedding event occurs? Will the basement floors and walls be ruined and get moldy and have to be ripped out and refinished? Or will some materials survive and stand the test of time in a basement environment that they were installed in? With this test, like the others we have done, we were going to show the answer to this question. Look at this incredible time-lapse video. We returned and began assessing the results, flooring first. The wood framing and plywood subfloor section was growing mold and gained three and a half pounds of water, nearly half a gallon of water absorbed into the wood. The chipboard and dimpled plastic subfloor had swelled, was growing mold, and gained over half a gallon of water per panel, nearly 50% more again its original weight. We found the plastic dimples facing up to be cups for catching water from a leak. When swollen chipboard dries out, it does not return to its original dimension. The thermal dry insulated floor decking, which is made of foam and inorganic magnesium oxide, gained very little water weight and showed no mold growth or warping or swelling at all. The Mill Creek PVC flooring with the wood grain look gained no weight at all and was completely unaffected by the water. The wall systems were examined to see how they fared. The wood baseboard was moldy. The drywall grew a dramatic amount of mold of all colors on the front and back. The wood studs grew mold as did the fiberglass insulation. One sheet of drywall gained eight pounds of water weight, a full gallon of water absorbed into a sheet of half inch drywall. The moisture and mold resistant drywall panels were next. The pre-primed wood baseboard got moldy right on the paint. The moisture resistant drywall was moldy at the bottom, although it did perform better than regular drywall, but it was still moldy. When weighed, however, the panel sucked up over seven pounds of water 
or three quarters of a gallon. The fiberglass insulation behind the mold resistant drywall got moldy. Halfway through the test, we wanted to see what happens when paint is introduced. We painted these materials and put samples in the test. The total basement finishing panels do not need paint. Well, as you can see, mold grows on paint quite easily. We then looked at the total basement finishing Everlast wall panel. The panel only gained several ounces of water and had no mold, no swelling or distortion at all, front or back. The TBF smart wall was next, and again, no mold and no damage at all. Since there is no fiberglass insulation, no wood or wood products, and no paint, there was nothing for mold to grow on. As we have demonstrated with our splash video in the past, where we threw these building materials into a pool for a half hour to see what happens, this test shows that conventional wall systems using any kind of drywall or paint or wood should not be used in a basement environment. Even if there is not a flooding event yet, basements have high relative humidity, particularly between the back of the wall and the foundation wall. This is because of water vapor diffusion through the porous concrete from the ground and because it's cooler in this space because the ground is cool. You know, when we cool air by one degree Fahrenheit, we raise the relative humidity by 2.2%. When interior or exterior air gets into a basement and is cooled, the relative humidity goes up above 65%, enough for mold to grow. This is to say, you don't need a water leak for mold to grow, just damp air. When a basement is finished and develops a musty smell, well, that smell is the airborne seeds of growing mold, just what people with allergies and asthma react to. By using total basement finishing, no organic materials are used in your basement, and mold cannot grow on your walls or floor, and you will not have to replace them when you do have a temporary flood or leak. If you'd like a mold-free and odor-free finished basement, call Total Basement Finishing with dealers across North America.